Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Keo Daikin. So I know I've been away for a little bit. I haven't really posted anything on this channel in about a month and a half now. So just been a little tired taking a break from the tech sector, but I am around. I have been doing a lot of reviews and uh, testing on the back end. But if you guys are interested, you can check me out on my firework channel right now until the 4th of July. I've been posting a lot of content in regards to that. But without further ado, today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the Insignia chat pad. Um, I picked this up from Best Buy a couple of days ago. And um, my intention for this was, uh, as you guys know, with a lot of the chat pads, it allows you to also plug in a regular uh, microphone adapter or headset adapter um, in addition to using this as a chat pad. So I believe these used to cost about 30 bucks can't remember the exact price when i got this but i predominantly use this one and this is the insignia uh, version um this right now retails at best buy for about 39.99 and as you can see uh it does have a number of uh, different features on here as far as what you guys may be used to comparing it with the regular chat pad but uh, unfortunately, in my case, I'm going to have to take this back. It's not going to work out for me. But uh, without further ado, uh, after this intro, I will tell you why. So let's get into it. So yeah, I did pick this up at Best Buy several days ago, and my intention for this was to use this as an adapter, just like I used it for this, to use my headphones, so that way I could talk, you know, use a regular microphone with it. Um, the problem is, is that after you buy this, I mean, here, here's the box. I just wanna show you guys really quickly. Uh, this is the box for it. And so it's a 47 button keyboard layout. It has a backlight, of course. In fact, I'll go ahead and turn that on now so you guys can see it. There's a backlight, it's nicely lit. Feels a little different. This is rubbery, whereas this was more like a hardboard uh, feel to it, more mechanical. And so uh, it says uh, powered by the controller. You also need an adapter for it. I do have the adapters plugged into my Xbox right now. Uh, that was really different because with this one, you don't need an adapter. You just uh, plug it in to the controller and then it sends, sends the signal that way. However, with this one, you have to wirelessly sync it with your Xbox. Now, um, it was really easy to just plug in the adapter like one of those wireless keyboards and then you're good to go hold it in this for a few seconds and then it pretty much syncs. But uh, right now the adapter is not plugged in so it shouldn't sync at all, but it's, it's fairly simple and fairly easy. But again, my intention for this was to use this type of headset adapter, as you guys can see here, as well as this. Um, this is my A01. Uh, Astro headset here um, has really good sound quality on it. Really basic headset has some good surround sound on it. And then of course too, we also have my, uh, what is this, the, uh, the RIG 500 uh, headset. This also has Dolby Atmos sound. So I, like, I watch a lot of movies with this, but this is made for your PC and it is made for your Xbox as well. And then of course it has a microphone on here. You could talk to all your friends. So the problem was um, the adapters that you typically need to plug in because this controller has the O layout. It's not like the Elite controller. As you can see, this is the Elite 2 controller. I uh, got this a couple years ago. But as you can see, the newer controllers have the headset adapter. So I could just easily plug them in and then they work automatically. So my intention for this chat pad was to plug this in and use this as not only the chat pad because it's nice to have it for that but also use it as a microphone adapter but unfortunately uh, i don't even know why they would do this um it's not mentioned here on the box uh let's see here you have easy access to a 3.5 millimeter jack uh, it tells you what it's compatible with It's obviously compatible with the xbox one but it gives you no clear indication that you have to have this plugged into the controller in order to use the microphone. I mean, it's not listed anywhere on here, as you guys can see. And then of course, what would be the purpose of me buying something like this without that being explicitly stated 
on the box. I mean, that's the whole purpose. I mean, like if you have an older controller, they really need to have it mentioned on the box before you purchase this, that you need to have a headset jack on the controller pad in order to use the wireless, uh, the mic function. So in fact, you can't even get audio out of this. But again, with the standard Microsoft uh, adapter here, you can, you could just plug this in, as you can see, still looks the same. And then of course I can get all of my sound and microphone uh, feedback sent directly through the controller without having to use an adapter. And then of course it adapts directly to this. So I'll probably have to just get another one of these because this will do exactly what I wanted it to do. This, I don't get the form factor as to why they would make this a requirement. In fact, um, even in the instructions, it's really not clearly stated that you don't have to use it. Use this. Uh, that actually, this needs to be used. Um, it tells you to skip the step. In fact, let me see. I think I got it right behind me. Hold on. Anyway, it's, it's covered under some mess over here behind me. But in the directions, it tells you that if your controller doesn't have a microphone adapter or headset adapter, to go ahead and skip step number two. Well, what's the purpose of skipping step number two if you don't have a hole to make use of this, uh, uh, this so you could use a headphone or microphone? I mean, you need it, right? Not every headset or every controller is going to have uh, the jack. But in any way, um, that's the reason why I won't be keeping this because I needed something that would obviously give me a chat pad and then, of course, something I could easily plug my mic into. But again, I thought it operated a little bit more like this where I could just plug it in and then I could plug whatever headset I wanted to in it and it would do the job. I could talk to people and then, of course, get my Dolby surround sound and uh, 5.1 or whatever it is that I needed on the headset. So um, other than that, it feels great. Um, as far as you know using it navigation with it uh, plugs in really easy but the whole form factor with this I'm just not feeling it because this is made for this as you can see the elite controller already has it but this is not made for a controller like this and so um, they didn't seem to have some of the first generation controller types available with this because I got about three or four of these that are like that and so would have been nice they kept that in mind and then allowed the technology to send the microphone signal and also the headset sound uh, signal uh, directly through this but i don't know why they decided to go with this type of sync format but i wanted to give you guys my thoughts and concerns and my views on this because uh you know it's not a big hassle i mean i'm just going to take it back it's 30 bucks but um just doesn't do the job. I mean, I don't see a lot of people personally buying this. If that, you know, obviously if you already have a controller like a Elite 2 controller, something that already has that. But if you guys have three or four controllers and you have company coming over or you have a situation where you have company coming over, you're going to a friend's house and they don't have that jack, the headphone jack on the controller and you want to use your chat hat and then you're thinking you're going to plug this in, thinking you can communicate online with it kind of pointless you know in, in that respect so um uh yeah so this is what it is uh this is the jack here it does work and you know when i originally plugged this in uh, even without the jack i was like well maybe i'm doing something wrong because again uh when i was following the directions it told you to skip the step it never said or required that this was mandatory uh for this to work with this type of controller now it does say that only certain headsets are compatible with it. Um, I've used uh, these two headsets on the Elite controller with this and it does work. So again, the instructions really aren't that clear. Um, I'm not gonna say it's misleading, but it's just really unfortunate on how they have all the information laid out because somebody's gonna buy this thinking or even again, you know what, let me find it because I want you guys to see this. Let me see where this thing is. Okay, I can't find my instructions, unfortunately. But again, uh, reading the directions, it, it tells you to skip step number two. Um, if, your head, uh, if your controller doesn't have an adapter, and go ahead and insert it, and you'll be good to go. So I don't know what uh, you know to tell you, but these are just my thoughts and you know concerns about this particular device. I was hoping to just keep it uh, cheap because I know they make specific adapters uh, that you can use to plug your headset in directly. But 
those are about 40 bucks and you figure you get something like this or like this which you could get for about maybe 30 dollars which will pretty much do the same thing um i didn't want to buy a standalone adapter just to use my microphone uh, so my other guests in my house can use their own headsets with this type of controller but um hopefully they learn from their mistakes just wanted to give you guys a heads up um on this particular chat pad i don't know if it's really been covered a lot or really people have actually uh, made mention of it but it's really unfortunate and so again it's only a 30 dollars purchase i'm just going to take this back get something else i mean you figure for another 40 bucks i can go just get a brand new controller uh that has that but i really didn't want to do that either i just wanted a short simple solution that allowed me to use uh, my other headphones that i have in the house with the headphone jack uh, that would adapt it into you know something like this and obviously this has it but it requires some other form of communication so uh guys this is killed i can consider liking and subscribing let me know what your thoughts are about this uh below um i will do some more xbox tutorials and reviews a little bit later but yeah let me know what you guys think so until then i will catch you guys later you guys all have a great day peace out bye bye